This is problem number five from the August 2015 Algebra Regents exam. <clears throat> the cost of a pack of chewing gum in a vending machine is 75 cents, 0 0.75. So we've got gum that is 0.75. Uh, the cost of a bottle of juice in the same machine is $1.25. And we know that Julia has $22 to spend on chewing gum and bottles of juice for a team. And she must buy seven packs of chewing gum. B represents the number of bottles of juice, which inequality represents the maximum numbers of bottles she can buy. Okay, <clears throat> I think a good starting point here is to know that um, the pack of chewing gum is 75 cents. So to write that as an equation, uh, the price of, let's say, G, a G amount of gum, you would do 0 0.75 times G because that would be how much how many packs of gum you're buying, right? Like, so if you bought 10 packs of gum, you would do 0 0.75 times G. So this represents the price of the gum. Now, to, to add in the price that they're going to be spending on juice, that's $1.25 per uh, bottle of juice. Okay, so that represents the price of the juice. And then we also know that she has $22 to spend. And as an inequality... That means that she couldn't spend any more than 22, so it'd have to be less than or equal to, because you could spend up to $22, but nothing more than that. Now, the other piece of information we have, though, is that she's buying seven packs of chewing gum. So we know what this G number is. It's seven. So we're going to do 0.75 times seven, plus 1.25 times the number of bottles, and that'll still be less than or equal to 22. So that is um, how we'd represent this situation as an inequality. And we can see that is option number four. All right, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.